Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking into Hannah Hampton as it is posted by Women's Transfer News on Twitter that Manchester United, Man City and Chelsea are all in for the race for the signature of 22-year-old goalkeeper Hannah Hampton. Hannah Hampton is a player that has played for Aston Villa in the league for the last two seasons following her move from Birmingham City two, just over two seasons ago. And Hannah seems to be a really good goalkeeper, especially at the age of only 22, playing such regular game time, that now she's shown interest from the top three, three of the top four even, sorry. So today we're going to be looking into her, some of her stats. So, like I said, she's a free agent at the end of this uh, summer now, so you don't have to pay her, to pay to get her. Now, she stands at just 5'8", uh, same height as Mary Earps, uh, playing 15 games in the league this season. That's just five games less than last season, with four games in the FA Cup and two games in the League Cup. Now, she's also been rotated around a 21-year-old Hannah Lee, who has played the other games. So, how is she as an actual goalkeeper? Uh, clean sheet-wise, she's kept five clean sheets in 15 games in the league, giving her a 33% clean sheet rate whilst only conceding 26, especially when you've got teams such as us that scored five past her. You've got big teams like Chelsea, City, Arsenal, and she has only conceded 26 in 15 games, giving her a rate of 1.73 goals uh, averagely conceded per game. Now, for an Aston Villa that had a very, very amazing end to the season, finishing fifth, that is not a bad that's not bad and it's obviously good enough to attract big teams such as ourselves Chelsea and City. In the FA Cup she kept one clean sheet in their 11-0 win over FC oh AFC Flid. Let's hope I said that right. Uh, and she also played games uh in the FA Cup against West Ham, Man City and Chelsea all in that order. And in those three big games, uh, especially against Chelsea in a semi-final, she only conceded three. Now, off to the stats, on to thoughts. Do I think we should go get her? Uh, it all depends on if you know Mary, Mary Earps isn't going to sign the, a new contract. If she isn't, then she's definitely perfect replacement. She definitely uh, looks like a player we would get, especially with it being a free agent. But if we don't get, if we're not, if we're planning on giving um, Mary Earps a new contract, I don't see it happening. As I don't see her going from an Aston Villa team that did that has got quite a few really good players at the moment. Hopefully, they're hoping to hang on to a few of them. I can't see her wanting to leave that team with such when she's getting quite a bit of game time. Give or take those few games that she's been rotated with with Leet. Um, because as we all know, Skinner is not one to rotate often. We've given Sophie Bagley just four games this season, all coming in the League Cup. So he's not one to want to take Mary Earps out of that team. And I don't blame him as she's been such an impactful player. So, does that mean we should get her? You'd probably look at Chelsea probably being there, the best bet um, for a young goalkeeper especially. Uh, I couldn't tell you how old their goalkeeper is, but I'm pretty sure she's around 30, 30 age. So getting a 22-year-old will be perfect for them. Don't really know too much on cities. I think it's Roebuck. Not 100% sure who plays second in the England team uh, behind Mary Earps. She's just not a signing I see us doing because, as as I've said, you know, uh, Mary Earps isn't old at all. Uh, you know, it, she's not, she's just going into a prime now, so it's not a good time to go and get a replacement. Um, Mike Skinner's not one to rotate, and I don't think she'll want to come to us uh, without getting promised enough game time. At most, she might get the League Cup. That's probably all she'd be getting. You know, and hopefully next season we do go for the League Cup a bit more. Um, you know, ho hopefully we get to the final of that one. I see that one being a more realistic cup to win next season because I'm not expecting us to go on and win the double or win it all, uh, especially being in Champions League. It's going to be such a big transition for the team. And I think we need to do, we definitely do need to get better um, squad depth. Maybe if he is planning on rotating Mary Earps a lot more, maybe she doesn't get any more, she doesn't get the early games in the FA Cup and she doesn't get League Cup and you, and you get a, a Hannah Hampton um, so she can replace that and maybe she gets uh, two or three games in a 22 season, league season. Maybe then it's a possibility of getting her 
but I just don't see it happening. I'd absolutely love to have her, but goalkeeper is nowhere near what we need to replace at the moment. As Mary Earps is I like she won like she won. She's single only one of the best in the world and I think she'd walk into anyone's team. So it's just not something I could see us doing. However, if maybe Bagley is also hoping to go somewhere move on in her career, go somewhere different, then maybe getting Hampton would be a very, very good backup. As for Manchester United, we should have that fucking we should have that power back up, shouldn't we? Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, if it was a uh, Informa if it was a uh, good information about a possible transfer, like, subscribe, hit the, hit the bell. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.